Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster. We're starting on the ancient Greece area today. If you are excited, leave a like, leave a comment, leave something letting me know. And I realized I forgot to record the part where I was building the actual time portal. One of the viewers recommended it a couple episodes ago that in between each area we have some sort of like futuristic time portal. So if you have that, it's just behind this entrance, you can kind of see it. Uh, you'll see it in future videos and stuff, and you'll see it a little bit in the background of this video. But it came out pretty cool looking. Uh, I use those kind of blue neon signs that kind of wave and go wah wah wah. I don't think they make a noise, but they look like if they made a noise, that would be the noise they would make. So we kind of use that as our time portal, and we're going to have it in between all the areas. And right now I'm working on the entrance signs for our ancient Greece area. Uh, I have a couple ideas thrown around for this one. So the area, the name of the uh, prehistoric area is of course Prehistoric Peak. And trying to figure out a good name for this one. Uh, if you guys have any, be sure to let me know in the suggestions below. Uh, I'm always interested for you guys' feedback, and it's fun to get a little bit of interaction with you guys. So I'm starting to use all these different stucco pieces to try and find uh, pieces that'll work in this area. And it's kind of annoying because every time you open and close the build tab, you can sort by stucco pieces, but then it forgets it every time you open and close it. So I wish it would just stay selected. I should really... Be like give that some feedback to the developers because it's kind of annoying having to do that because I closed the build menu a lot to kind of get a nice view and look at everything but oh well uh, for the time being it works just fine so we have our nice little uh, columns in our entryway here and then we're going with the cypress trees because isn't cypress by cypress is in the Mediterranean right so to me these are very Mediterranean style trees so I'm going to be utilizing them a lot throughout this part and then I'm building a little entrance wall here and it's cool so I actually extend this we make three of them and then I save it all as a blueprint so we can use it later so right now you'll see I select them all we save as a blueprint I just do like Greek wall something 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 and now we can use it uh, all three again we can just copy and paste it over it's pretty handy I like it uh, the only thing is it doesn't save it as a complete unit I kind of wish it did but oh well and then for here I had the idea of doing like a raised plaza with steps all around and then here's, here's where we're gonna have like the main shops and everything uh, we end up not going with it's just because I don't like how it looks. You can't just have a flat ground like this. You're always gonna have uh, little, little, those little circles. You can kind of see them. One, the path controls are still a little funky, and two, you can see those little circles at least. So I decided no, we'll just have it um, a flat path just on the ground like usual, and then we're just extending it on through here. And for each of the sections, I'm gonna try and have at least one ride. Uh, at least one flat ride, at least, actually m most will have probably more than one flat ride. Uh, at least one coaster in all five of the sectors. So there's going to be at least five coasters in this area for our prehistoric, our ancient Greece, uh, I keep forgetting the order, medieval, uh, old west, and future sections of the park. All those are going to have their own custom coasters. Uh, this one is no exception. We do get it done in this video, and I'm actually pretty proud of the coaster. I think he yeah, pretty good. Uh, one criticism that someone brought up was, hey, you need to put brakes before the coaster enters the coaster bay again. Uh, probably I should. Um, <laughs> you can only have them in very straight sections, though, so that's the reason I didn't put on this one, but I uh, probably should. It's not super realistic, so I probably should have them. the coasters break. Eh, we'll see. And for here, uh, I'm just adding these columns, and these columns are annoying because they are not actually building pieces. They will not snap to a grid. Unless oh, some of the columns snap to grids and some of them don't. It's a little odd. It's like these ones wouldn't snap the grid. So basically what I did is I took the half walls and just laid them out so I knew where to put the columns. It's a little bit annoying, but it worked out pretty well. The columns aren't perfectly straight, but they, they look fine at first glance. So we're just going to leave them. Then trying to figure out a nice roof for this. And I love these slanted tile pieces. I think they go really well with this, but there aren't any flat pieces that match it. It's so annoying. Like, I just need a flat square right there with this texture, but there is not one in the game. I can't believe it. Like, I could have sworn there were when I started building this, but nope. Those tiles are so cool looking, but there isn't just a flat one. So I just use this stucco piece, which kind of sticks out a little too much. Uh, it's a weird color. We go, we use these pieces on a roof later, but I actually end up just switching this one out entirely because I, I wasn't really liking how it looked. I mean, hindsight 2020, it looks fine now. And I was trying to some different pieces to see if the colors looked fine. See, that one's close, but it's like way too dark. And suddenly can change the colors, but just didn't look right with any of them. So then I take our little Greek wall thing. And we're just going to flip it around here. Just cover it in the bottom. Just make it look real nice. Again, it's it, I like having something that you can repeat throughout the park to give it a consistency. Well, not through the whole park, just through this uh, specific themed area. But it's nice having a consistency. 
Uh, since we're going really wide on this park, like uh, all the attraction stuff going to be a wide path. I was thinking at the center we could have a really dense area which is like all in one area with everything kind of mixing together. So you'd have the futuristic, you'd have the Greek, you'd have the uh, medieval, you'd have the western, all that stuff. And the priests are all kind of crammed in one area. Maybe maybe like one big coaster in the center of the park that kind of encompasses all of those themes. That might be cool. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We're, we're kind of just playing this one by ear, but for now we're just working on all the different areas. So we have our Greek area right here. Uh, we'll probably finish it up in the next episode. The next episode might not be a time lapse. It might be in real time because I know some people don't like the time lapses. Uh, just for building, I like them just because I can get so much more done, and they're really handy. It allows me to focus completely on the build. So right here we start on the coaster, and of course, as some of you probably could have guessed, uh, the coaster is going to be called Mount Olympus, and we're going to have a big old mountain right in the center with a very small, uh, round Greek temple on top containing uh, the fire. The Greek fire. No, I guess it's not the Greek fire. It could be like the fire Prometheus gave it to the humans. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it looked cool. So, uh, taking some of these round structures, just playing around with a lot of the new pieces, new color art options and everything. Just trying to find something cool. Those pillars are not all level. Looks really bad. <laughs> it's driving me crazy a little bit, but i fix it later. You'll see. Don't worry about it. See, there we go. Okay, we're fixing it. Looks a little better. So, uh, basically, we're just going to have the coaster kind of go up through this mountain and then wrap around it on its way down, have a couple loops, helixes, twists and turns, all things like that. And the coaster I picked, I don't remember the name, but it is the one that has the big eagle on it. So it looks pretty cool, in my opinion. And then I wanted this kind of like a rough looking uh, mountain. It didn't want real smooth like a volcano. So I used the, there's a new tool they uh, added in the train mode because previously they had the smooth, now they have a roughened tool, which kind of just extenuates all ridges and edges and stuff. It looks pretty cool. And then we're using the auto tunneling feature, just have the uh, chain lift go up through there. And then we have the push tires pushing along, so you go right by the little temple. And I will change the color later. Right now, this was just the default color, because now you can actually change the color of the whole track. It's pretty handy, just from the build menu. And the colors of the, uh, the car as well. So we're just going to wrap around the mountain. I think we do like one or two times total all the way around it. And I was just doing a quick test to see what kind of speed it had at the bottom. So. Uh, it's a, it's not a very steep descent, but it goes it turns a lot and goes uh, pretty far, so you do gain a lot of speed. And then I decided we put a double helix going down here, and this is where we get a lot of speed. That helix builds up speed very quickly. So I thought we'd do a quick little loop right there to bring it on home, and then we go up and around, back down. So just kind of a little dip to get a little bit of some negative g-forces over. And you guys know I love going above the coaster bay again. And then I just had it autocomplete and bring it back to the center. And just wanted to make sure I could get all the way through. And for some reason it bugged out here. Where the auto tunneling stuff wasn't going away. But <laughs> it, it went away now. We just had I had to, had to go back to the menu and come back. Change the colors. Makes it all um, mostly white. I like the white theme we're going through right here. Because it kind of goes with the... Uh, not the limestone stucco. I think it's what everything is. Like the stucco uh, columns and walls and stuff. And then I wanted this to be a very big temple. So basically, we just take these stucco floors, ceilings, both, I guess, and just lay them all completely out. Then just raise it on a platform, and then we're just going to line the whole thing with columns. Now the columns are going to be intertwined by the entrance and exit cues for the ride. So again, you know, came out all right. For some reason, these ones would stick to the grid, but only in between the grid, like not to the actual grid points. It was very odd. The columns I was using earlier would not stick to a grid. They would just make the grid com disappear completely. Despite the fact that they were building parts rather than scenery parts. Because generally the, the things that stick to grids are building parts. Scenery parts do not stick to grids. So it was a little confusing, but uh, we got to work. It all works out. It just takes a lot more uh, tinkering when you have to manually place all the columns at, and try and evenly space them out. And for some reason, it wouldn't let me build this queue here. It's very odd. And I don't like how wide... So that is the narrowest regular path. And the queues are actually narrower. Narrower. So it's kind of annoying just because it limits you on uh, on where you can place those uh, paths out of the exit because they're less they're wider than the uh, queue. So the uh, the what am I trying to say here? The queues are always going to be narrower. The entrance queues are always going to be narrower than the exit queues, which is kind of annoying. But then we're just doing a similar roof as we tried before. So just those on the edges, and then the stucco pieces up there. Actually, I don't think those are stucco. I think those are just like the. Uh, the broken stone pieces, then taking these white castle pieces and trying to uh, just line it, add a little bit more depth to it. Came out alright. 
Again, realize I didn't put it on the uh, other side, but that's okay. No one sees that side, right? Oh, except for maybe the people on the coasters. And then I like I like filling in these gaps. You guys know I don't like having these gaps under these stairs. So well, we fill in one side with these plain stucco pieces, and I am realizing that I didn't actually fill in the uh, other queue. So I will have to do that. Probably just do that off camera. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick example of how that looks. And then for the entrance here, I thought we'd do some more uh, column pieces. Those nicely cover up those little gray barriers. So that comes out looking pretty nice. And again, we'll probably put a sign on that or something at some point. Taking some more cypress trees, just lining everything. I'm really glad we went those trees. They look pretty neat. Uh, pretty long shadows in this area though, but it is later in the day, I think. And then I want a little fountain in there with some bubbles coming out of it. That's something I remember seeing in one of the early Planet Coaster uh, trailers was they had the fountain there with the little... Uh, Mermaid and she's blowing bubbles. There's a nice sunset looking at that and I, well, I let it become sunset because I wanted to get some lighting going So we're just taking these really cool torch pieces. I absolutely love these and it's kind of scattering them out throughout the columns And all throughout the area trying to make it look real nice because we can do a lot more lighting in this place since we actually have fire because Oh, well, I guess we had fire in the previous one, but we were limited to just using the uh, the uh, what's the word bonfire pieces. That's right. So it looks much better when you actually have these pieces now. And then over here I'm just making a quick little uh, column and torch piece just so I can uh, use them throughout this ride. I'll be using them in a couple different places throughout this tunnel. Looks pretty nice, just kind of lining it. It looks really cool when you go through there at night. Uh, the, the, the coaster ride at the end of the video is actually during the day so you don't get the full experience, but it still looks pretty nice. And over here was just uh, experimenting a little bit. I wanted a building. I didn't know what I was going to use it for at the beginning. We ended up making it into a restroom, but... I wanted just a sort of a lower key Greek building, so not these massive structures with columns and things like that. Actually, I guess we go back to that. We don't do that right now. Right now, we do a ride. And I wanted the Ferris wheel. I don't know why, but I thought the Ferris wheel would be cool here. Kind of uh, goes well with the um, big mountain right next to it. It's kind of uh, complements each other, I suppose. Then we just do a nice little strolling path through what will be a, a garden of some sort. And then just a nice exit there. And then what do we do here? We take uh, the Greek wall. Oh no, we put a, <laughs> a hard king coaster and another janitor because I was noticing some trash. We don't have many uh, trash cans in this area, so that's something I will have to do later. Then I wanted a nice entrance. I thought I thought about putting these over the entire path, uh, but I thought that would look a little bit too busy. So I decided to put them just at the entrances and the exits of the queues, and then just follow that up by adding some of these brick walls. All right, they're not really brick; they're the, my stucco walls that kind of contain this garden area. Again, it's really nice just being able to copy and paste stuff like this because it's actually its own set piece now. It's a little annoying that it's the menu closes, so as soon as you place it, it closes the blueprint menu, which is a little annoying. Again, it would be nicer if I kept it open because if I wanted to place multiple ones, I have to open the menu every time. Uh, but as long as it's a large enough structure, that shouldn't really be that much of an issue. And it's some more cypress trees throughout. Kind of make a nice little garden area. Some of those uh, rose... Are those rose bushes? I'm not sure what kind of bushes those are. They have a name. I'll have to check that. Then we put the star wheel sign up, which is real nice, and I was like, okay, we can probably try and just put like a blank sign up here. Uh, just trying out some different ones. <laughs> we are trying out a lot. And then decided not to use any of them. Surprise, surprise. Here we go. And now I decided, okay, we do need a restroom in this area, so we'll make a decently sized building over here for our restroom. Uh, we, I, I noticed later we were kind of limited because the ferris wheel is going over this so I actually have to remove one of the floors just because the ferris wheel was too tall and wouldn't let me actually build it so uh, I'm kind of glad it was because I wanted this smaller structure here nothing on such a grand scale as the ferris wheel and things or not the ferris wheel some of the other buildings it's a much more simpler design one of my favorite parts of this is this little garden we put off to the side of it you'll see in a second it's real simple we just do these rounded walls and then uh, we do like a little door in there and like one tree and I don't know why but I just love that little detail. It looks so nice to me. Like, I don't know what, what it is about it. It definitely looks kind of Mediterranean to me to have this little round wall with a little garden. But I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Uh, I know it's just a bathroom. It doesn't have to be big or gaudy or anything. Or people saying, wow, this is a pretty large structure just for a bathroom. Like, I, I've made like skyscrapers in the bathrooms before. But again, it's suspension and disbelief. You're supposed to just believe that this is a, uh, it's not an actual Greek. <laughs> like building or anything it, it's a it's a recreation of an ancient Greek building inside of a theme park so it's supposed to be a little big you know <laughs> I guess that's that that's just my feeling about it nothing's supposed to be too accurate it's just supposed to look nice and kind of invoke the feelings of these eras so that's what I'm going for is more of a overall mood motif or feeling 
here we are on Mount Olympus with some lady with glasses right next to us. Pretty proud of this coaster. Both the coasters in this park, I think, are already streets ahead of coasters I've built previously. Uh, especially in Seatopia. Those coasters were pretty bad. I'm liking these ones. I've been taking you guys' feedback. Ooh, look at that view of Prehistoric Peak. This is a high, really high roller coaster. <laughs> Since it is Mount Olympus, I wanted it to be taller than the other volcano. Just because, I mean, it's supposed to be the biggest mountain. So you get a nice little close-up right there. And we're right down the coaster. So there we go, guys. I'll leave you to It's watching uh, Mount Olympus Coaster. But definitely leave a like if you enjoyed. Want to see more Planet Coaster in the future? I'll see you guys next time. Bye.